Hey guys, today we're going to be starting our new character design unit. And the first stage of this we did in class the other day, generating ideas for a new original animated character. In this scenario, Cartoon Network has hired you to develop this new character that they're either going to use for a show or a mobile video game. And what they've asked you to do is come up with a turnaround that shows your character from different sides so they can get an idea of how he looks and tells a little bit about his backstory. So on Google Classroom, you'll see the handout for this project, and there'll also be an Illustrator file that I added here um, that has the character design turnaround template. Uh, if I click on it, I can go up to the three dots. There we go. Three dots in the top corner, and then I can click open a new window. And from there, you'll see the download icon there you, where you can download it to your computer. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and download that. Now, in class the other day, I did a little pencil sketch of my character. Uh, his name's Echo. He's the tiny bat. He's going to be able to glide around on his little wings. He lives in a cave hanging upside down, and he uses his Echo Screech to ward off and defeat enemies inside the video game. Okay, So I scanned this uh, drawing using my camera phone, and I sent it to Google Drive so that I could download it um, onto the CAD server or onto any other computer that I'm working on. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the download button on that. And now I have both files in my downloads. Okay, so let's open up the Illustrator file. If I click on it, it'll launch here. And you can see in this template that I gave you, it's already set up. Um, it's got some areas for you to draw your front view, your side views, and your back view. And it's got a little editable text box where you can tell us about your character and their story. Okay. If I look at my layers palette, I can see that it's got many different layers here. I'm just going to close that up as I don't really need to see all those. Um, and I'm going to do my drawing up on top of this layer. Okay. Now, the next thing I need to do is bring in my sketch. So let's go to File, Place, and I'm going to go to my Downloads bin. There it is. And there's Echo the Bat. And let's open that up. And we're just going to click anywhere on the screen to drop that sketch in. Oh my goodness, it's really, really big. So I'm going to zoom out using Control minus. And I'll take my selection tool and shrink this image down so it fits on the page. Okay. Remember, whenever you shrink anything in Illustrator, you want to hold down Shift and you want to pull it from a corner so that it stays the right size. Now I'm going to zoom back in, control plus, and I can take this sketch and kind of place it roughly where it would go in the layout here. Uh, and then I think what I'm going to do is go over to properties and I'm going to turn down its uh, opacity. If I've got it selected, I can go to the opacity marker here and I can knock this down to about 60% should work fine. Okay, that way I can see where my lines are at and I can move them around on the template. Okay, now this bottom line on the template is the ground. So I'm going to make sure his feet are sitting right there. And from this, you can see that each of these lines um, kind of breaks the body proportions down into nine equal segments. So he's one, two, three four, five, six, seven high, if you count the top of his ears, uh, six if you just go to the top of his head. Uh, if you want to change that at all, you can always grab it from a corner and you can enlarge it up. Again, I'm holding down shift. I want to make him a little bit taller. That looks pretty good. And then I'll go over to my layers. I'm going to open this layer up and I'm going to find this photo layer that's right here and I'm going to lock it. That way I can no longer click on it. It's not going to move around on me. It's kind of like a piece of tracing paper that I've put down on my drawing. And so everything I do now will be on top of that. All right. So let's come down to the bottom corner and let's do new layer. And we're going to call this front view. Okay. And now I can start to use my traditional illustrator drawing tools to start to make this character. So I want to break it down into simple shapes. Um, his head is basically a little oval. He's got these kind of pointy ovals for the ears. I think what's going to work best for this is just the pen tool. 
So I'll select the pen tool and make sure that it has no fill, black lines only. And I'm just gonna start to go around and trace the outside of this character. So let me do this real quick. I'll click and bend it and then click on the anchor point. And I'm just gonna go around a little bit at a time here kind of defining the shape of his face. Now, if you get any weird little bumps or divots like I did there, let me zoom in so you can see that. You see I created a little bit of a bump there that I'm not happy with. I can take my white arrow, click that anchor point, and just bend it to smooth it off. Or if you see this little dot, you can actually pull on those dots and it will smooth out those corners as well. Okay. Then I'm gonna take my pen and get back to work. Let's start from this anchor. We'll come over here and get this ear. Click that anchor point, click and bend it. Click the anchor point, click and bend it. Click the anchor point. Let's give him some little zigzags for the hair. So we're gonna click and bend, then down, click and bend, down, and then back to where we started, click and bend. Very nice, so I got a nice open uh, curve here for the head. Okay, now I can put in the facial features. The eyes are gonna be easy because they're ovals. So I'll take my ellipse tool and I'll put it in the middle. And if I hold down Alt, I can draw a circle right from the middle there. I'm gonna make one eye. Uh, inside that eye, I'm gonna make these smaller circles. These are the reflections of the light on his eye. So let's just take that circle, copy and paste, and I'll shrink it down a little bit. And put it right there. Let's go a little bit smaller, a little bit more oval, I think. There we go. And then I'm going to do it again. Copy and paste. Remember those keyboard shortcuts. Control C for copy. Control V to paste. Those will really save you a lot of time. I'll put this second reflection over here and kind of rotate it a little bit. Shrink it down a little bit. Cool. Now what I'll do is I'm going to just add some color so I can tell these apart. Let's make these reflections. We're going to fill them with white and we're going to give them no outline. And then we're going to take the big eye and we're going to fill that one with black. Okay, so there's one eye. Let's group it all together. Let's do shift. I've got the big circle, the reflection, the second reflection, right click and group. Now that I've got one, it's easy to make a copy. Let's do control C, control V, and I'm gonna move that one over here. And I want his eyes to look just a little bit different. So I'm gonna take my white arrow, grab this reflection and just scooch it over a little bit. I want him to have a little bit of a crooked eye. I think that's kind of cute. We'll move this over here. Okay, nice, eyes are in place. Now let's get our pen tool and let's do all these little detail lines that are inside his face. So for these, I'm just gonna take my pen, uh, I'll create these curves. Oops, you can see I left the white fill on. So once I've drawn it, I'm gonna say, you know what, no white fill. I don't want any fill there, but I want the outlines to be black. Okay. And over on my properties, I'm going to turn the stroke up here. Let's make it about three points, maybe. And then I'm going to click on the word stroke and change the profile of the lines. Watch this. I'm going to change it from uniform, like it is now, and I'm going to do it to pointy to pointy. And so what that does is it gives me this really cool hand-drawn line where it tapers off at the ends. Makes it look more like it was drawn with a pen. Okay. And I'm gonna do that to all these little lines that I put inside this dude's face. So let's give him this little zigzag, kind of showing that he's got some fur. And I can just take my eyedropper, I think, and click that line, and then I'll change the stroke to pointy to pointy, okay? Oops. All right, now let's add a few more here. I'm gonna do this as quick as I can just to show you how he looks when I'm done. Let's take that one. I think I'll do them all first and then I'll change them so they look similar. Let's put this curve. We're going to go up here, up here, kind of give him a little lightning bolt here. I like that. Take my pen. We're going to go here and bend it. We're going to go from here down to here and bend it. 
when I'm done drawing, if you just click on your selection tool, that'll deselect it. Um, let's give him a little curve around his ear. And then one more little curve right here. Okay. All right. So now that I've got all those interior lines, oops, I forgot his nose and his mouth. Let's get that real quick. Let's go here to here. And I'll bend one little nostril. And then we're going to take this one and bend a little nostril. And in his mouth, he's got this little smiley mouth. Let's give him a little curve. Then we're going to bend it up here for his lip. We're going to bend it down here for his other lip. And then we're going to bend it around this corner. OK. All right, so now that all those interior lines are drawn, I'm going to select them all. I've got my black arrow. I'm holding down shift, and I'm just going to click one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I want them all to look like this line. So I'll take my eyedropper and I'll click on that line. That's going to make them all thick. And then I'll come over to my stroke menu and change the profile to pointy to pointy. And that's going to give it that nice little hand-drawn look. Okay. If you decide that your lines look too thick, you can always turn them down. You know, just hit the stroke button, maybe knock them down to two points instead of three points. And there is my little dude. I need to give him some teeth. So let me do that real quick. Let's do boop. Boop, drag it up here and boop, boop, boop. Okay, there's tooth number one. I guess for number two, let me do copy, paste. Oops, let's grab that. Copy, paste, and I'll just bring this tooth over. And if I right click it, I can do transform, reflect, and I can flip it the other way, okay? I'll just use my arrow keys and rotate it a little bit so it's in the right place. Sweet, there's my little dude, okay? So basically you're gonna go through and do this for the entire character that you've made. And you wanna keep in mind that in Illustrator you always have to draw the big containing shapes first and then put the little lines inside like I did with the head. You notice I drew the head outline first and then put the interior lines, excuse me. On the body, I'm gonna to have to do the same thing. I'm basically gonna draw all the way around his fingers and his arms and down around his feet, like I'm tracing the whole character first. And then I'll go back in and put in these little detail lines on the wings and the toes and, and so on and so on. So I'll speed up the video a little bit and I'll show you what that looks like in a little while. But let's jump over here to our character. Um, I wanna color him in. So I'm gonna go ahead and click his head shape and I'm gonna go to my window here for swatches. And I wanna pull up a swatch library, this little icon here for the, that looks like a set of books. I'm gonna say, you know what? Give me some earth tones for this guy. He's a little natural animal, so I'm gonna use some earth tones. And let's give him kind of a brownish gray body here. I'm gonna do, his interior color has this kind of gray brown. And I think I'll do his outline color in a lighter gray brown. Let's see, maybe do I want to use lighter or do I want to use darker? I kind of like that. It just gives a slightly darker outline around the outside. Uh, I can select his teeth and we'll go ahead and fill these with white. He's so cute. Okay, and so my little dude's coming along. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video for a minute while I redraw the rest of them, and then I'll jump back in in just a second. Okay, so I'm bringing it back because I wanted to show you how I drew his body here. Um, look at the outline I made. It goes all the way around the outside, and then when it gets to this wing, I just had it continue from the leg to the wing and back up and around to where I started. Okay. Now, even though that looks like it's wrong, because you're like, hey, you got this line going across the face. What I'm going to do is just send this backwards. I'll right click on it and I'll do a range, send backwards. And I can send it all the way to the back so that it's behind the head. And you won't even see that connecting line. 
Now that that's drawn, I can go in with my pen tool and I can add these other interior lines to bring this all together. Okay, so I'll be right back after doing that. Okay, so we're back again. You can see I've added all of my interior lines to little echo now. Um, I haven't changed up the line styling at all though. So I'm gonna go ahead and select by holding down shift. I'm gonna click on all the little lines that I did for the interior here, all these little interior bits. Um, and I think I got them all, there we go. And I'm gonna come over to my stroke. I'm gonna set the profile to pointy to pointy and just double check. Let's see, they look great here on the wings, but they're a little bit of a problem down here at the toes because I don't want them to get skinny right where they touch the feet. So what I'm actually gonna do is grab these and I'm gonna set their um, setting to straight to pointy. Watch how it's gonna change here. And I click that and then let's flip it. This little button right here, it'll flip it the opposite way so that it starts thick down at the feet and it gets skinny as it goes up to the corners of his toes. Let's do that again here. I'm gonna go to stroke, profile, and I want flat to pointy. And I'm gonna flip it so it's going the opposite way. Perfect, okay? Now, uh, let's add some color to him. I'm gonna go ahead and take his body shape and I want it to match the head. So I'm gonna take the eyedropper and click on the head. Boom, boom. Uh, and then I want to make sure that the his little hairy chest here is going to be a lighter color brown. So I'll go ahead and select that. And I think I want it to have no outline. So I'm going to take the outline off. Uh, let's see. Here's his little arm. I think I need to fill his arm in with his body color. There we go. All right, so now he's coming along. Now, I drew his little wings behind him here as a separate shape. You can see it right there. Um, I want these to be a little bit darker. So I'll go ahead and fill it with his body color, but then I'm just gonna go into that color and drop it down a little ways so it's slightly darker, right? Because it's behind him, so it should be a little bit darker there. And then I want to put another one back here so it looks like that's hanging down behind him as well. So we'll copy, we'll paste, right click and transform and reflect it. And then I'm going to send it all the way to the back. Right click, arrange, send it to the back. So now it's behind his body and we won't see it. Uh, let's see, I missed a couple pieces here. Let's take his little claws on his feet. I'm gonna have those match his wings actually. And yeah, he's coming along. I'm not really crazy about this purplish color now that I see it for the outline. So let's just give his body all a black outline for now. I can always change this later on if I don't like it. I think that looks better, it just stands out more. Let's take this and we'll do the same. Give him some black and then this arm needs to be black. Awesome. I love little Echo here. Okay, he's coming along. Um, let's zoom out so we can get a better look at him. So now I've got my front view of Echo. Um, this is the process that you're going to go through during this first day. And then uh, in a future video, I'm going to show you how to take this front view and we're going to make a copy of it to show what he looks like from the right side, the left side, and the back. Okay, so I'll see you soon.